What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE superstars wanting out of WWE, hashtag fire Vince, another potential lawsuit against WWE, Vicky Guerrero is finished, Jeff Hardy recovers from eye surgery, a top WWE star taking time off, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts and WrestleMania Hindi. And now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at the fallout from Vince McMahon's return to creative. At the top of today's news are the many reports concerning Vince McMahon's return. Mr. McMahon's creative comeback is creating complete chaos in and out of WWE. We'll look at the reports of top wrestlers wanting out from WWE, fans demanding Vince to be fired, whether Endeavor is aware of concerns over Vince's return, and finally, whether they care. But first, let's look at WWE superstars wanting out. Vince's return to Raw led to anxiety and anger amongst WWE superstars. Fightful Select reports that some wrestlers felt blindsided when they discovered Vince McMahon standing at Gorilla, believing Triple H was still running creative. The belief wasn't wishful thinking, as several news sites reported that Nick Khan and Triple H met with talent before Raw to reassure them that nothing was going to change in lieu of Endeavor acquiring WWE. What wrestlers were told and what they experienced wasn't the same. While some fans and pundits are arguing that Vince was only at Raw because he was in town after WrestleMania, reports of what happened behind the scenes strongly suggest Vince was doing more than stopping by to say a quick hello. While Culture's Andy Murray commented, Changes were made as the show was being broadcast, with multiple run sheets passed around. These quote-unquote sweeping changes left the roster frustrated. Some felt that even though they didn't think the new creative was poor necessarily, they didn't like the dishonesty, especially considering many had been fired by Vince during his previous run as chairman and CEO. Fightful Select also reported on the changes to Raw. Amos vs Elias was also a late addition and several things that were originally planned for the show didn't end up happening. WRKD Wrestling also tweeted, Fightful Select has confirmed our reports that LA Knight and Bobby Lashley were supposed to be featured together during WrestleMania. Additionally confirmed our report of a scrapped Bad Bunny joins LWO Raw segment. Now, there were other rumored cancellations including a triple threat to determine the number one contenders for the Women's Tag Team Championship and a last minute change to the plans for Lesnar and Cody Rhodes vs Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. But now there are reports that talents including one high level wrestler will ask for their releases if Vince remains running creative. There are reports that other wrestlers will ride out their deals. As always, wrestlers are quick to complain and vow to leave the company, but this is a situation as old as the WWE. Wrestlers rarely walk out on the company, although we have seen some exceptions with Sasha Banks and Naomi, but they sometimes prefer to ride things out regardless of their anger or disappointment. Do you think some wrestlers are going to walk out because Vince isn't creative? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, hashtag Fire Vince. And Vince McMahon's apparent return to full control of creative has some fans calling out for his dismissal. You may have seen hashtag fire Vince trending on social media after the much maligned post-mania edition of Raw. In addition, there were tweets from fans attending the most recent episode of NXT claiming that there were fire Vince chants. As you might imagine, there were tweets on social media blasting the WWE for bringing Vince back to creative. The tweets were about more than the tweeters apparent disgust at McMahon's work, but the fact that Endeavor allowed someone with as much as baggage as Vince to return to a prominent role. This disgust seemed to focus on McMahon's various hush money payments and the allegations of abuse against women. But does Endeavor know what they've really got themselves into with Vince? One question being asked is just how much Endeavor knows about the complaints directed at McMahon, both with his reputation for lousy creative and his escapades outside the ring. Ringside News tweeted about the situation saying, we reached out about new Fire Vince trend. A tenured source in WWE told us that the new powers that be are aware of the scandal. They're aware of all the criticism of Vince's rewritten scripts and anything else you could think of. On one hand, there's the idea that outsiders sometimes don't pay attention to the behind the scenes happenings, sometimes because they think of wrestling as a fictitious sport with equally fictitious events going on behind the scenes. In other cases, they dismiss wrestling as a freak show run by hustlers that are not deserving of such scrutiny. Nevertheless, there's no way that Endeavor didn't pursue due diligence before looking into it, acquiring WWE, so the idea that the company was unaware of Vince's reputation is hard to swallow. But do they even care? If Endeavor is aware of these complaints and controversies, do they actually care? Well, apparently, they don't. 
During an interview with CNBC, Endeavor CEO Ari Emanuel talked about whether he wanted Vince to stay on board with WWE. He answered, oh my god, yes. Emmanuel also discussed Vince's role in creative, comparing it to Endeavor's relationship with its other properties, including UFC. If we disagree on something that we want to do, guess what? We're not doing it. It's the relationship I have with the Silver Lake, and it's the relationship I have with Dana White. Dana's got the say as it relates to UFC. Vince has it as it relates to WWE. He's gonna have the say. We have nothing to do with the creative process. That's Vince's and that's Dana's situation. All the back stuff, we're gonna try and do what we do. And I think that's what he wants. But if there's a disagreement, that's called a relationship. We'll work it out. For now, it appears Endeavor is content with Vince's role in creative. While that view could change if the ratings were to tank, there's no change on the horizon. Next up, a potential lawsuit against WWE. It looks like there's another potential lawsuit against WWE, this time regarding its acquisition by Endeavor. A Demi LLP is investigating WWE for possible breaches of fiduciary duty and other violations of law in its transaction with Endeavor. It goes on to state, a Demi LLP alleges WWE's financial outlook and prospects are excellent, yet the transition values WWE shares are only approximately $106 per share for any post-closing dividend, with Endeavor holding a 51% controlling interest in the new company and existing WWE shareholders holding a 49% interest in the new company. The transaction agreement unreasonably limits competing bids for WWE by imposing a significant penalty if WWE accepts a superior bid. WWE insiders will receive substantial benefits as part of change of control of arrangements. And we're not commenting on the merit of any potential lawsuit. Nonetheless, the WWE and or Endeavor will likely claim that some lawsuits are being filed merely for the sake of getting quick payouts in order for the proposed sale to go through. As we pointed out in our previous news video, the acquisition is still subject to approval by federal regulators. Next up, a huge story as Vicky Guerrero is finished. Now the wrestling world is being rocked by allegations recently made by Sherilyn Guerrero, the daughter of Eddie and Vicky Guerrero. Sherilyn posted a video on TikTok, as Wrestling News Paul Davis is reporting Miss Guerrero posted a video on her TikTok account about her stepfather allegedly sexually assaulting her in 2020 while they were on a cruise. Sherilyn says that she wants a relationship with her mother, but instead she chose to side with her husband. She also said that she didn't want to wish anything negative in direction of her family, but she wanted to get this out because she's received messages about not being involved with her mother when the reality is that her mother blocked her. Sherilyn's cousin Chavo Guerrero tweeted his support for her. Just to let everyone know, I fully support my cousin Sherilyn Guerrero. Eddie's daughter and I have been doing so privately in the last couple of years of her struggles. She's a very strong woman for coming forward with the sexual assault she's suffered. But then Vicky Guerrero responded on Instagram. The message is pretty long, but there are two sides to a story. Over 15 years of my relationship with Sherilyn has been hostile and I've tried to deal with a narcissist person. Not only myself, but close friends of Sherilyn over 10 years and family have cut ties with her because of her manic behaviours. I tried to do therapy with Sherilyn, but she always said no and that I'm sick, not her. Sherilyn, please tell your side of the character of being drunk on the cruise and having guys in your room, then crying because you thought you were raped and then demanded us to go to a pharmacy in Bahamas for plan B. You want to play dirty and sling Chris and I through the mud? I can play too. Are you enjoying the car that Chris bought you since you wrecked yours? I'm so done with you and tired of the years of your manipulation, lies and disrespect. I kept quiet for years because you never seek therapy to learn how to have an adult conversation with me. It's always been your way or nothing at all. Okay, Sherilyn, not only will I see you in court, but you and I will no longer be related. For the fans who feel entitled to comment, F you, you heard one side of the story and you feel entitled to comment on something you know nothing about. Yikes. What do you guys think of this response? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, what happened to the post-WrestleMania NXT call-ups? If you're wondering why there were no NXT call-ups on Raw, well the red brand after WrestleMania is known for its returns and NXT debuts, but the universe didn't see any on Monday, leading to speculation Vince blocked any previous call-ups, such as the long-discussed arrival of NXT superstar Cameron Grimes. However, Ringside News is reporting WWE fans were a bit disappointed by WWE Raw after WrestleMania. One of the biggest complaints was that we saw no NXT call-ups, we were told that they didn't have any plan for the show in the first place. Now fans could see one or more NXT call-ups on SmackDown, but then again, if they didn't have any on Raw, what are the chances for SmackDown? Next up, a top WWE star taking time off in WWE. It looks like 14-time women's champion Charlotte Flair is taking another sabbatical from WWE. PW Insider Elite reports Charlotte is not expected on SmackDown this week and that WrestleMania 39 was her last appearance for the time being. 
Thus, I also noted the WWE's decision to put the SmackDown Women's Championship on Rhea Ripley was made long before the Queen asked for time off. So what's next for her? Well, in a recent interview with ESPN, she mentioned, I would love, love to do a bodybuilding competition. I'm thinking about doing it this summer. I know what goes into it from a diet standpoint and how lean you get. How do I make that work on the road? Now, currently, it's currently unknown how long Charlotte will be absent from WWE. And finally, Jeff Hardy recovering from eye surgery. Last but not least, there's a report that Jeff Hardy is recovering from eye surgery. This comes after Twitter user Ham Daddy tweeted a photo of himself with Jeff. Met Jeff Hardy while vacationing today. Could have not been more generous and likable. He just had eye surgery. Get well soon. But there you have it, folks. The wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below. I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.